Hi guys, thanks for watching. I'm doing a deep cleaning video and I have not done a deep clean in a while, probably since the last time I filmed it, honestly. This video was basically like all of the things I need to do and I avoid doing that should get done a lot more than they have been, obviously. That's why we're here. So I hope I'm able to motivate you to get done all of those things you've been putting off. We all do it. Please like the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. Make a nice coffee and let's get to it. Something I started doing recently is whenever I'm cleaning the house, first and foremost, before I do anything else, I will throw in a load of laundry and then I keep the laundry going the entire time I'm cleaning. So this way I don't have a buildup of all of the dirty laundry. As many of you know, it's rare that I get through folding and putting away all the laundry, but this is a way that I've stayed on top of the dirty laundry. So I still have work to do, but it's better than nothing. I threw in a few baby items, anything else, I could throw in along with it and then this will be the first load of several we get through throughout the video while I'm doing everything else after this I'm going to head into my bathroom And now that that laundry is going, I'm going to start with my shower. So I'm going to get all of the soaps and products out of here, the caddy out, all of the soaps on the floor that shouldn't be on the floor in the first place, but it happens. And then I'm going to spray down the shower and let this soap sit and work for me while I work on a few other things in here. I look at my watch, I check the time, and then I waited about 10 minutes before I came back and scrubbed everything. And this is a method bathroom cleaner. I'm also removing the shower liner and I throw this in the washing machine with towels so that will be the second load. I just make sure there's several towels on either side of it that way it doesn't fold in half and not really do anything. The towels kind of like scrub it while it's being washed in the washing machine so if you've never done that I just do a regular setting and regular soap. I don't do anything special and it always comes out perfect. Of course you don't put it in the dryer you just wash it, shake it out and hang it back up. Now I'm going to scrub the toilet Toilet. I have my rubber gloves on from Target. I found those at the dollar spot. Oh, I also will have a link um, for my sweatshirt and for my jeans. They're both new. That will be in the description box. I know I'll get questions, so I wanted to mention that. First and foremost, before I get too many of those, it's linked below for you. I am going to use the wand. It is a like refillable wand by Clorox, and all you do is buy the pods that go on the very end. Throw them out after you're done. It's super easy. I really like this. I've had it for a long time now, so I'm going to scrub this, and then we will keep it going from there. We are back to the shower now. The soap has been sitting for about 10 minutes. And the first thing I do is scrub the shower floor and then I will rinse it with several cups of water. That way I can stand here while I'm scrubbing the walls. I don't turn on the shower faucet because I don't want that to hit the shower walls and wash that soap down the drain since I haven't scrubbed that area yet. So I know this takes a little bit longer. For some reason, whenever I'm working on like showers or tubs, I always have to use a cup of water and rinse that way. I've just done it that way forever, so now it's habit. Sweet, don't wanna be stuck in more conversations with you. With you. I'm gonna leave. The spray has been sitting on the shower head too and to rinse it off I hold a cup up to it like that and then I take it away and rinse the walls with that water. It's a lot easier than scrubbing it and having it like fly all over the place and onto my face. So just a little tip for you. The last thing I always do whenever I clean a shower or a tub is I use a microfiber towel with water on it and I wipe everything off. That way I can make sure there isn't any product left over sitting on the walls. Oh, 
the vanity area wasn't too too bad I've been a little bit better about maintaining this I just have a few products to put away skincare hair care a mouthwash the cups I'm going to put by the stairs so when I go down next I can take down those water glasses and then I'm going to use the same product to scrub down at the vanity top the sinks and the faucets I'm on my way now. I mentioned this in a recent video, but what I've been using on mirrors is white vinegar and water, and it seriously works so, so well. People always say completely different quantities, so whatever you think is best, but what I've been doing is one part, one fifth is white vinegar, and then the rest is water. And now it's time to flip that laundry. So I'm going to pull out everything we put in in the very beginning of the video, the baby items and a few more things. And then I'm throwing in the towels and the shower curtain liner. So again, it's just a couple towels and making sure that there's towels in between both sides of the liner. That way those towels will scrub while the whole load is going. I use regular soap, turn it on and it comes out really, really clean. And now it's time for Forrest's bathroom. So first I'm going to get everything out of his bathtub, all of the soaps, all of the toys, his little seat. And for the first time I used that white vinegar and water mixture in his bathroom. I used it on everything in here instead of a regular product. Honestly, I don't know like how effective it is on things like this. I know it's safe and recommended for toys, his height chair, all of those items. So if you're a mom, if you have a baby, if you've had a baby, or if you are someone that's a lot more knowledgeable in this natural stuff than I am, let me know what you use on this kind of thing. Um, if there's like a specific product or if you use the same stuff that you use in your bathroom, let me know. I've never used white vinegar on a bathtub, so I'm not sure if this is recommended, but it seemed to work just fine. I did the same thing as far as a towel and then wiping it down afterwards and rinsing it out really well too. I'm also using hot soapy water on all of his bath toys and then squeezing them out so I can make sure there's no water inside. Then I'm going to put those back in his bathtub. I really need to decorate in here, I know. Actually, after I get this video up, we are buying paint. So anyways, things are coming along as far as the decorating. I know it's taken me a long time, but life is so, so busy. So anyways, I still am using the white vinegar and water. I use it on the mirror in here, on the vanity, faucet, sink, and even even the toilets um, yeah if you are a natural person let me know what you use for this kind of thing I still am using the wand of course on the toilet and then we will keep it going from here there really wasn't a ton I am flipping laundry again for the millionth time there wasn't a whole lot in his bathroom because we really only use it for his baths we just started to give him baths in there again so hasn't been used a whole lot it was just a little bit of like regular maintenance stuff I've been putting off that laundry is flipped and then I'm I'm going to hang this back up in my bathroom. We 
will come back in here in a little bit. First, I'm going to vacuum our bedroom. And this carpet won't be in here forever, but a lot of the carpet in our house, actually all of it, is like a higher pile. I've said this before. And it's the kind of carpet that if you don't vacuum it regularly, it shows. It's like very, very obvious. So I do have to keep up with the vacuuming for sure. And I'm just going to make sure that the vacuum is on auto. It's a little bit stronger on carpet than it is on a hard floor, which is really cool. Like you can hear it shift the difference and how strong it's suctioning based on what you're using it for. So love this vacuum. It's linked on my Amazon page in the description. I'm just doing the whole bedroom, the hallway, the closets, and then I will do the bathroom and then we will get to steam mopping real quick. It takes me so much longer to vacuum at this house than the old one. So by the end of it, I am like sweating, but I am moving and grooving and getting done as much as I can because with mom life, I know my time will expire very shortly. So I plugged in the steam mop. I'm going to quickly steam mop in here and then we'll be done in the bedroom and done in my bathroom and we can move on to the hallway. If I could, I would give you the whole world. And this is one of the first times I've cleaned this house where I can have the windows open. I am so envious of all of you who live in warmer states and have your windows open all the time. I really, really miss that all winter long. I feel like the house gets so stuffy and I just miss like airing it out, you know, like after you cook and make a bunch of food, not being able to open the windows is like the worst thing ever. So I had the fans going, a few windows open, I could feel the breeze, it was amazing. And by this point, the only dirty laundry I had was half a load of white, so I saved it for later. We are almost done with vacuuming and steam mopping. So I did the hallway, I did the workout room, the extra bedroom and the nursery. I didn't film those though because I mean, how much vacuuming do you really want to watch? Probably not a whole lot. I steam mopped in the baby bathroom. I also am about to do it in the laundry room and then we are going to start working on folding laundry in super speed. I'm falling behind, falling behind, I hate 
I got through as much laundry as I possibly could and then after this we took a family break so we could take Forrest for a walk and get some sunshine, get outside in that 70 degree weather. I took off this sweatshirt, I don't know why I put it on in the first place and I mean 70 degrees, sunny and the breeze blowing for the first time in months was amazing but with being on my feet for several hours, taking care of the house, going for a walk doing nighttime routine, all of that. I was so exhausted by the end of this. I was literally like limping around. I need to get in better shape because my legs, my back, my arms, everything was so, so done. We go our separate ways. Not enough time, not enough time. I'm falling behind, falling behind. I hate to separate my body and mind. My body and mind. We're about to move on to my office and let me know what you guys think of these shelves. Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to keep them. So I've had them for a long time. Here they are. They're from Ikea, if you're wondering. I believe they still sell them. I don't remember exactly how much they cost, but I know they are like one of the more affordable options there. And they're really versatile. So, I mean, I think they could be used in tons of different spaces. But anyways, I just have my printer on there. So far, I'm going to wipe down the shelves the top of the glass and the bottom with the white vinegar and water. I'm using that on tons of different spaces in the house with a microfiber towel. I always mention those because they just hold on to so much. I think they are really awesome to use. I feel like I can use one of these so much longer than a regular towel and it just works really well to hold on to stuff. But anyways, let me know if you like those in here or what you think I should put on these back walls. I've tried to figure it out for a while and I still am not really sure. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links down below. And I will see you guys right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye.